and we're here at Seatec. And hi. Hi. So who are Welcome you? Welcome to TDK. My name is Itangaki, and uh, I will introduce you the one of the highlights that booths at TDK booths. Okay. So let's check some of the technologies you have sure. around here. TDK is a big company doing many different technologies, right? Uh, basically. Uh, basically, the component base. And the one of the, the things I like to introduce first is that MicroPoint POL, which is uh, the micro DC DC converter, being used for uh, many of the CPUs directly on the, the directly on the CPU to supply the powers. The size is very small, but the high, very high power density. So thin. It's very uh, thin yeah, solution. It's already the 3.3 by 3.3 by 1.5 millimeter which can uh, convert the power and uh, the output current is what? up to 6 amps already with this size. 6 amps? 6 amps. It's the maximum. That's and a lot. We, we have, we have, yeah, that is a lot. And uh, we have some other the platform which is more high current, like uh, maybe 9 amps or 12 amps as well. What is the demo here? Uh, this is just uh, the mock size and uh, showing the inside of the products. So the, the semiconductor inside the substrate, which is our TDK CV technology, so we call it the CSAP. The semiconductor embedded substrate. Okay. So that the size and the, the thickness can be very minimized. And we just put on the power inductor and the capacitor, that's it. So you can use this whole package as a complete unit. What does it do, this package? What, where does it go in the system? Uh, convert the DC voltage to the, some certain voltage and supply the power to the CPU. And how many do you need for one CPU? Not just one? A bunch? How does it work? Bunch, bunch, bunch. And many of them? Yeah. Are under it? Uh, beside. Beside, so, yeah. On the PCB? Yeah. All right. Cool. And there's many other technologies around here. This one... Uh, uh, this one is maybe... maybe. Let's check this one out here, right here. It's, Here's some. Um, um, this is a lithium polymer battery. Right. Uh, this is our only commercial basis and uh, yeah. not not special basically. But one of the special we develop is that uh, all solid state uh, lithium lithium ion battery. Solid state. Yeah. The, Solid state battery. Surcharge the third month, and uh, this is all ceramic base. So, so very safe. So, what is it? What does it enable to have a solid state battery? What's the new market? What's possible now? The, one of the, the examples that we are showing is the energy harvesting. So, the, this uh, PV cell is generated electric power, and. Uh, charge to the, this surgeon so that we can use this module uh, as a some of the IoT devices. Nice. Including uh, energy harvesting. Nice. That's nice. And uh, here you have some IoT solution. Um, whips. Um, there's a menu. So inside there, you have your your, par your parts. Yeah, the parts is being uh, <coughs> installed inside. One and of them. The, this sensor is sensing the, the you know. Uh, it's uh, in real time. Is it for the gimbal market? Yeah, yeah. Are you the leader in this market? I hope so. Every gimbal <laughs> manufacturer is using your chips. Uh, I hope so. Because it's fast. <laughs> you need to be faster than. You need to be real time, nearly. Real time, yeah. But there is very quick, little quick little response. Delay. What's the response? Like nanosecond, millisecond, something? It's low, right? Uh, yeah. And uh, this is also market maybe relevant right here, because uh, when you do VR, yeah, you want to have low response. This, this is uh, the VR requires a very high response uh, sensors, and uh, we put uh, such a the six exit sensors and uh, as well as the TOF sensor. So, so that means you have the accelerometers, the gyro, or no? 
Gyro, or, yeah. Gyro, gyro accelerator, and, and TOF. And TOF. TOF is the time of flight. Do you have Measuring the distance. You have a lot of TOF already in the market? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. What is this demo about? Yeah. TDK six axis. Motion center. Motion center. Motion center. Just a smartphone which is featuring uh, TDK's uh, six axis motion sensor. And underneath of the plate. And this sensing, uh, since I'm sensing the tilt, four and four, back and four. You can use this one as a game. Nice. Is this a new new product? No, 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 not so no, new. It's already it's in the market. Yeah, yeah. Big quantities. And here's a switch. Oh, you can just try yeah. the yeah. 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 What is what is this? What is this doing? <laughs> what is this? No, sorry. What is this about? Uh, this is a piezo material, and we put the, this material both sides of, the, of this piece of and uh, this one can be used as a switch, like this. This is no holes, no, no holes. It's a seamless design. But we just put uh, this battery on our devices. It's vibrating? Yeah, the back side of the disc, we play. And then we can use as a switch. It feels like a button? Yeah. Oh, nice, I can feel the movement. Yeah. yeah. So the other like the movement is coming from this device, which is High power. Yeah, high power. Right? Because sometimes, uh, where do you put the high power? Is it targeted specifically at exactly where you're touching on the side? It's not the whole phone is moving. It's only this part. Yeah, right? but this one is being only used for the switch. And uh, yeah, for the haptics, we use this uh, material. Yeah, different. There. Right. Okay. So you do kizo. Let's go. Let's go around this way. Yeah. Um, what is this? This is a yeah. transparent uh, film, but it has some uh, electric uh, conduction. Yeah. So we can use this material on a film as a heater. So as a heater. Heater for the uh, rear side of glass in the car, or the side windows, or the front window, just in front of the camera. Like uh, the radar or uh, some kind of heater, uh, heater to make from from, from uh, to remove the fog. Ah, so on the wind windshield, windshield, windshield right. or uh, mirrors or uh, nice. front windshield and right be uh, right in front of the camera. Yeah, in front of the what? Camera, camera, camera. Yeah. Ah, so to keep the camera. Or radar, radar camera that, right. that detects uh, the, some other cars or. Uh, a human or a pedestrian. Yes. Or, uh, what's this, happening here? <laughs> we just yeah. put the film here on the head, uh, headlight so to melt the snow or ice when uh, such as conditions. Nice, so you can uh, not have the issue of uh, safety, it's for safety, right? Right, right. You don't want to be driving on the highway and then you can't look at the window or. So e even power. the heavy snow the conditions, but uh, the weekend, we can. Does it use a lot of power? Uh, not so, not so. Not so. Yeah, not so much. Is this? This is a sound. Can you stand in front? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is also the haptics. One of the applications of haptics. And uh, we can, you can feel that some click. So ah. I can feel on the screen. Does that mean the haptic is behind the screen? Right, right. Exactly where I'm exactly. touching. Yeah. Uh, no. But you don't have the whole screen, only where the buttons are. So we, we just put this. this uh, yeah. And this one is also the speaker. All right. Let's just go from the mic. So this, you, have, you have speaker on the screen. Yeah. Oh, it's vibrating. So, nice, you vibrating the whole screen. Yeah. Is this on the market or? It's on the market already. All right. Yeah. All right, let's go around.
Oops. Oh. Yeah, please say the Yeah, so what is this about? Uh, this is all ceramic capacitors for the automotive applications mainly. This, this looks big. Uh, this is just That's a just this big box size. So you're doing this? The actual size is here. So what is, can you show, you show what's happening or what's inside? This is a standard multi-layer ceramic capacitor. And uh, the, one of the important uh, characteristics of the MLCC is uh, ESL, so-called ESL, which is equivalent series inductors. And the low is better, lower is better for the high-frequency applications. So in order to reduce the uh, ESL, the, the terminal design being changed from this side to this side. So what's happening to, here? To reduce uh, such a... Reducing the size? Yeah, no, no. Reduce the uh, ESL, equivalent series uh, inductors. So, so that we can use this uh, capacitor for high frequency applications. Is this one of the hallmarks of TDK as a... Uh, Capacitors, you're like one of the biggest ones in the world to make this, right? Uh, we are not the biggest one. But <laughs> Number one? No, 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 we are not. No. In the top three or something, right? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. All right. So but in the automotive market, uh, maybe we are top three. So you make you make these? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not oh, to only say. in the automotive market. Yeah. We, we must be in the top in the three. Top. top three. Yeah. And uh, this is right here, is some other... What is this about? This is a power inductor for the uh, automotive, the, the kind of safety uh, module. And this one is the uh, noise filter for the high speed communication inside of the car. So... And the, those parts are required as a very high robustness and uh, a very uh, high So the data goes through this? It's like a yeah, router? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The data goes through this. Not only that uh, motor, or, but entertainment data also. Nice, so it's like a, a, like a video, networking. Uh, yeah, yeah. Networking in the car? Yeah, networking, yes, exactly. Right. And here, microphone. Uh, How does that work? Can you demonstrate? Can you show? So you can record the sound through this? Microphone Microphone is here. So how does it work? This one. Oh, there's a sound port. We call it port. The sound port? Yeah, sound port on the bottom or either on the top. The bottom port, top port. Is it active now? Uh, this, this was magnetic one. This magnetic. one's microphone. So this is different. Different one. So this one's the. It's fingerprint center. Yeah, fingerprints. If you touch it, you can see. It. Use ultrasonic, and uh, this is finger, finger fingerprint print. sensor. Right, right. Is it on the market? Uh, not yet. What's the next? <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. And this part? And this is a whole whole sensor. Whole sensor. Whole of what? Whole of whole sensor. Uh, Mr. Hall is a uh, uh, <laughs> is Hall is the guy? Yes, yes, Hall is the guy. <laughs> yes, actually, yes. And this is a whole different. This is a magnet. Yeah. And the whole sensor is a magnetic sensor. And uh, this device is our device. And uh, our device detects magnetic uh, flux like this way. Then you can see it detects X, Y, Z direction. And what, this. What's the application for this? Good question. That's uh, for automotive. And uh, for the automotive. So it goes Proper somewhere in the car? Sensor or gear to sensor or, or uh, 360 kind of degree angry sensor. Yeah. So you have a 60 degree angry sensor. So it sends something inside the car or some outside some the car? Inside the car. Inside the car. Inside the and car. Uh, and the angle. Some angle or uh, transmission. All right. Yeah. Cool. And uh, this is a uh, uh, current sensor. Is this also a future technology or is yeah, it already future. in the market? Future technology. Future. In, in the near future. And, uh, right. But the sensing is uh, different. This is the uh, whole sensor. But this is TMR sensor. But this small sensor can detect the uh, high current up to 1,200 1, amps. Detect what? Detect high, very high current. Oh. On a, such, such a kind of bus bar or inside of it. Electric Maybe car, maybe. Electric car, EV car. So it can detect uh, how much power is going through? Is it uh, 1,200 amps. All right.
1200 amp. Yeah. It's very high. Very high, yeah. You better not to touch with the hand, right? This, right. okay, <laughs> cool. Is it not some this more? This is also using a TML sensor and combined with a motor control uh, disc. And uh, DB puts this kind of a sensor unit, five of this to this disc rubber. The sensor is sensing the, the angle, and uh, the, this IC is reading such an angle data and uh, controls the motor. Oh. So all these are deployed in a lot of robots right now? I'm sorry? It's already in the market, many robots? Uh, no, 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 not yet. Also it's, our, it's a being developed right now. Being developed? Yeah. Programmable power supplies. So this is for solar, the futures of uh, clean cities? Exactly, yeah. So you do this stuff? So the power module and uh, film capacitor. All right, cool. Uh, thanks a lot for the tour. There's a lot of uh, cool technologies around around here at TDK. Thank you very much. Thank you.